We've done a taste test and the sloppy joes are really, really good. And apparently I need to stop shopping. Where do y'all usually get your stocking stuffers? I almost get all of mine at three places. I would flip my top if I went in right now, y'all. And I am not a confrontational person. Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. I'm back, it's been a while, but today we're vlogging. Or we're gonna try. This is gonna be my first day trying to leave the house since COVID, so let's go. I put on a Christmas shirt. It's Christmas, y'all. And I'm gonna try and do a little bit of shopping at TJ Maxx. It is about three o'clock. I slept till two today. I've been letting my body sleep whenever it needs to and resting as much as I need to. I'm definitely still struggling with dizziness. I'm still struggling with shortness of breath and chest tightness when I do anything. So I don't know, even just talking to y'all, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go. But I really wanna get out of the house. So I'm gonna try it. I have a few stocking stuffers I need to get, so. We're gonna try it. You ready? Ready. Ready, Freddy. Has Merry Christmas. Got some driver and my backup in case I can't handle it. And look at this sweet girl. Somebody got a haircut and she's so cold, so we had to get some sweaters, y'all. I have not been doing a good job taking care of my girl, and she was so matted. Her her fur was not it. It was not good. So we had to take take it all off, huh, baby girl? She knows we're getting ready to go somewhere. She's a little freaked out. I haven't been outside the house since, gosh, since Thanksgiving, since after Thanksgiving, that's when I got sick. And it is cold. It's turned into, it's turned into cold winter here in South Carolina, apparently. It's chilly, y'all. It is a traffic -y time of year, y'all. I don't know if y'all can even see that, but it's only like 4.30 and the traffic is, is cray. I'm hoping the store is not crazy. I don't know if I can handle this or not. We shall see. There's a line like wrapped around the building to go into TJ Maxx, so yeah, we're, we're not gonna join that. I'll come back another day, y'all. No. <laughs> All right, so World Market looks like a go, so we're gonna try it. I'm already feeling short of breath and just from getting dressed and getting in the car and riding. So I don't know how I'm gonna do y'all, but like I need to try going out in public and try, I need to try. So let's see. One thing that we do every year, not we, Jason buys Caroline some kind of sweet jewelry every year. And there's this store that's local to South Carolina called Handpicked. They have really cute jewelry and it's really small. So I don't know if I'll be videoing in here y'all, but we're gonna see real quick if Jason can find something for Caroline. Where do y'all usually get your stocking stuffers? I almost get all of mine at three places. World Market, Target, and TJ Maxx. So we're hitting World Market right now and it's not too bad in here, so I think we'll be able to find some stuff. We've got this cool little like women in history section. Kind of cool. <laughs> RBT workout. All right, we have to open this, y'all. I want to know what's happening here. Jason, open this for me. An RBG workout. What the heck? Why is this not ham? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why, why do we have an RBG workout, y'all? How she stays strong and you can too. All right. Cute little avocados. Look at all of the hot sauce. Like it's never ending. And some of them don't have prices. Like this is one I've almost ordered online so many times. This truffle hot sauce, but it's so expensive. Um, I guess it's only $3.99 though, or $5.99. I don't know. And then mustards. This is one of my favorite products that they sell here at the store. These salami whips are so good. The regular ones, eh, they're okay. The hatch chili pepper and the picante, these are like my favorite thing, y'all. I love these. All the Pocky, y'all. My kids love Pocky. More hot sauce, y'all. So much hot sauce. I thought these kits were so cute. Grow some aloe or grow some cactus, but they're $20, y'all. I was gonna get that for Caroline's stocking, but yeah, I, I think now. We are back in the car. I made it, y'all. I did it. I feel 
my chest is tight and I feel a little short of breath, but I did it. I also am super rusty. I don't know since I started YouTube if it's if I've gone this long without picking up a camera. It feels really weird and like usually I'm so good at taking y'all shopping with me, but I kept forgetting to show y'all stuff. So yeah, I didn't do a great job today. So y'all just forgive me. This is my first time trying to get back and I'm definitely rusty. We're gonna head home now. I really wanna go get five guys, but we're not because I can totally make hamburgers. I have ground beef that I need to use. So we're gonna try and fight the traffic home, I guess. All right, so we're stopping at Lowe's Foods to go. Um, we've been doing all of our food, like pick up and not going in the stores pretty much. And they, sometimes really frustrate me you know how usually i don't know why i have this on there's nobody out here oh i'll talk to you in a minute so what i was saying is i ordered a beef tenderloin because it was 12.99 a pound which is amazing so lowe's calls and they're like it's actually 16.99 a pound so we'll be charging you 16.99 even though it said 12.99 online and they acknowledged that it did like every other grocery place that you order things from if there's a price difference they adjust you get the lower price always right and if they replace a thing item for item you always get the better deal right no and then just now i told her well if you can't give me that price then i'll just you can just have it back and she was like oh, okay so we'll just credit your account i don't want to credit my account i want my money back or i want you to give it to me at the price that you advertised it at online like Every time we deal with this store, I love their quality, but their customer service sucks and we need to just stop ordering from this store, I think. So, if you have a Lowe's, do y'all have those issues? Now they won't give me my money back, y'all, unless I park and go in and talk to guest services. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm so mad. I was gonna make Jason go in and deal with this and go park and he took the key, so I can't even move. So I'm just gonna sit here while he goes to deal with this. I would flip my top if I went in right now, y'all, and I am not a confrontational person, and I probably don't have the breath to handle this right now, but I'm never coming here again. I'm done with this store. Jason's been telling me I need to be done with this store. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> I I'm done with Lowe's. All right, y'all, we are home. I made it, and apparently I need to stop shopping because Jason's like, Erica, we already have a ham. Why did you buy another ham? Uh, y'all, my mind is not really right since COVID, and I think I've been shopping online for groceries, and poor Jason keeps going to pick them all up, and I keep reordering things, apparently, so I need to stop. We're totally going to be doing a no-spend in January, but I guess I didn't need that ham. Here's the infamous beef tenderloin the manager ended up giving it to us for the 12.99 price which he totally should have kind of ridiculous but whatever we came home with the beef tenderloin and 12.99 that's a great price for it we got some bacon some more bacon some andouille sausage i love to have this on hand to do like a chicken bog or jambalaya type things stuff like that so all of this is going to go in the freezer pretty much and then some eggnog for the kiddos and then i just scanned my receipt for fetch rewards and if you don't use fetch rewards i totally totally recommend it y'all and i haven't talked about it in a while i guess because i haven't talked to y'all in a while but right now i have about eighty thousand points and i use i've already used hundreds of dollars of points for christmas i always save it up for christmas and i have about eighty dollars right now in receipts that i could still turn in so that is really really awesome i'll probably use that still before christmas i don't know i don't know if i will or not but all you do is take a picture of your receipt and you get points it's that simple then it's getting really dark in here sorry for the lighting on another note y'all i don't think i've bought a whole beef tenderloin in probably like 20 years I have no idea what to do with this i'm gonna have to do some research because it's too expensive to mess up and I know I can do like a roast portion that I want to marinate and do, but I'm not sure how to cut steaks in it or how much of the fat you take off. I'm going to have to do some research on that. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to make like a spicy sloppy joe kind of y'all. So I'm going to use some tomato paste and this is some hot tomato sauce. And we'll use some mustard and some Worcestershire sauce and make some sloppy joes. All right, so my beef is done, y'all, so this doesn't work. 
Not the right size, Erica. All right, so we are gonna build some spicy sloppy joes. I can't even tell you the last time I made sloppy joes. And I don't even know how many pounds of meat this is. It doesn't look like it's quite two. So anyways, whenever I use tomato paste jaw, I always do it in the middle. I like it to kind of cook out a little bit. So I put that in the middle and let it cook a little bit. And now we'll just add all of our seasonings around the outside. Keto Chop House. Oh, that was a lot. I can't even tell y'all the last time I cooked either, really. Like, I've put a few things in a crock pot, but this is yellow mustard. This, we're making them spicy, so this is ancho chili pepper. It's not super, the ancho isn't super um, spicy, but it's got a lot of flavor. And then we're gonna add some tomato sauce to this and some water, but I just kind of like, tomato paste just doesn't taste great if you don't cook it some. So we're just gonna let that cook a bit and we'll be right back. So this is, it's a Mexican brand. It's just hot tomato sauce, basically. El Paco hot tomato sauce. I like these for certain applications. I've never used it for sloppy joes, but we shall, we shall see y'all. So we're gonna get this all combined. Oh, man overboard. I'm gonna turn this heat down to all the way to low. I always add just a little bit of Worcestershire, probably two tablespoons. So I guess a lot of it. And then we are going to add in a bunch of water. That was one cup of water. So we're gonna get this all stirred together and then I'll taste it to see if we need to do something different spice-wise or add more spice-wise. Um, but Andrew is my, my youngest. Andrew is my Sloppy Joe guy and he does not like when I play with things. He likes it to be the way it always is so he's not going to be happy with me already because I'm making this kind of spicy but he does like spicy so I don't know. We shall see. I will have him taste it and let y'all let y'all know but I think everybody else will be super happy with it. All right so we're just going to keep this on low and let the water cook out. We may need a little bit more water actually. We're going to add some ketchup. That's what I forgot. I knew it wasn't saucy enough. We're going to add about half a cup of ketchup. I'm using a sugar-free ketchup. You can use whatever kind of ketchup you want and there that's going to give me the consistency I want. Now I'm just going to let this cook down and then we'll taste it. All right, we've done a taste test and the sloppy joes are really, really good. So now I just kind of cook them on a medium low. Oh, almost hit my wine, y'all. That would be bad. Just kind of cook them on a medium low until it gets the nice thick consistency that I want. But I had my boys taste. I still don't have my taste and smell fully back yet. So I had them taste and they said that it's really good. So just got to get it to the consistency that we want and then we'll be ready to eat. I asked them what they wanted as a side. They said they'll have some a side of sloppy joes with their sloppy joes. <laughs> they don't want anything as a side. So this is what we're having for dinner and then they'll probably put a piece of cheese on it. They like to eat it with cheese and just like a regular bun and I'll just eat it with cheese on it in a bowl. Hey, so sloppy joe, thumbs up, thumbs down. It's good. Good? Does yep. it basically taste just like a spicy version yeah. of our regular? Or? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah? Okay. All right. It is like 6.45 in the evening, and I just realized I've had nothing to eat today. Like, not one bite of anything to eat today. And I just am feeling like I hit a wall big time. But I'm proud of myself, y'all. I went shopping. I made dinner. Overall, today has been leaps and bounds above what I've been able to do other days. I still definitely feel this like chest tightness and shortness of breath, and my brain fog has been really bad, really bad. But I'm gonna sit down. I've got some wrapping and stuff I need to do, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it tonight or not. I'm gonna sit down and try and eat some of this. It was a little spicy, so we'll see. I put some cheese on it, so we'll see if I can eat that. But that is where we are, y'all. Y'all, I am so tired. Like I ate that dinner and it made my tummy a little a little nauseous. I think it was a little too spicy for me, but I ate it, so that's fine. That was the only thing I had today and I am now crashing. My body hurts so bad. My achiness level is like insane. And I had two sips of wine when I was cooking and that's all I had of that I didn't finish that um and then 
my rosacea flare every every night it gets really red at night every night every night i've got a few of the little dots from rosacea if y'all have been following my rosacea journey um they come and go like they clear up really well and then they come back they've come back more since i've been sick with covid but every night i get this red 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 like butterfly-ish red but i am so exhausted and so tired i feel like i'd maybe pushed a little bit too much for my first day doing stuff and tomorrow is going to be family christmas and it's going to be a crazy busy day so i am just gonna call it a night y'all i'm taking my nighttime pills and i'm gonna get under my covers well i've already done that crawl under my covers and turn the lights off and that's gonna be it for today all right Bye. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for being around for my rusty forgot how to film film day. First day back into filming. I have really, really missed y'all and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.